Hello, and thank you for taking the time to see what makes V8 of one of the world's best CAD software products well worth upgrading to. Whether you're using RealCAD or one of its derivatives such as Landworks CAD, ArborCAD or any other RealCAD based product, you'll find V8 is packed with features that will improve your everyday productivity every time you use it. RealCAD V8 has a new logo and a new CAD file icon. You'll see this pencil icon appear on all .cad files as you browse folders in your computer, either on Windows or on a Mac operating system. And if you associate DWG and DXF files with V8, you'll see the pencil icon on those too. Better than this though, is that files saved in V8 will generate a thumbnail preview. This is a huge benefit as it now allows you to visually scan and confirm the content of your files before selecting one to open. The preview will show exactly what was on your screen at the time you last saved. You can open files created in a previous version too, and simply save them again so that they adopt this new thumbnail feature. No more opening a file only to find it wasn't the one you wanted. You may have noticed this type of preview feature was available for PDF files on your computer. Well now you get to have it on your .cad files too. V8 has the same elegant interface that V7 users will appreciate, including easier to understand icons, clear and concise tooltips, dockable menus and the much-loved direct entry dialogues that no longer require you to select a change button to activate a second dialogue to then make changes to your selection, as was the case in earlier versions. Instant access to print scale, zoom scale and view name directly from the view window also saves time as no menu icon needs to be selected to make a change. The vastly improved method introduced in version 7 of accessing all common properties along with their selectability and visibility switching all from one dialog box has been further enhanced in V8 with clearer viewing windows and a rapid method of finding, sorting and saving desired colours and layers. Right click on a selection and the menu that appears is now context sensitive. It will only display the commands that can actually be used on that selection. New commands that you probably use constantly have been added to the right-click menu. If you're not using these powerful tools already in your workflow, V8 will make it irresistible to do so. All trim commands are now available and are conveniently located at the top of the menu and in the order that they are most used. The explode command is now available, and so too are all the divide options. The select and hide options which were in V7 have been joined by the clone option in V8. This lets you adopt the specific individual property settings of the selected entity or all of the properties in one go. More accurate depictions of line weight are now also displayed in model space, layouts and print previews to give a clear understanding of how each line compares in thickness. The grid option now includes graph paper style lines to visually guide design activity in a familiar draw on paper manner. The enhanced dot grid gives greater clarity and speed when zooming and panning and visually disappears when you zoom out. In fact, everything you love about the V7 interface has been retained or enhanced to make the user experience in V8 even better. Have you ever wanted to start your drawing at 00, zero or move a selection to 00? Zero zero? Well, V8 lets you simply snap there with your mouse no need to type in coordinates on the keyboard. Ever wanted to smooth out the stepped appearance of lines on your screen? Advanced anti-aliasing averages the screen pixels to smooth out the bumps or jaggedness of lines or surface edges.
For speed users, the standard keyboard shortcuts have been increased to let you action more commands without the need to move your mouse. New fast find options in dialogues means you don't have to scroll down or even page down. Just begin to type the name or the number in the search box and the software will automatically take you directly to that particular choice. As you zoom out, the software now calculates whether the lines in pattern fills, bitmap fills and hatching planes are getting too close to easily see. As they start looking more like a blob than distinct lines or images, the software displays them as solid fill planes with 50% transparency. Now this allows the user to better see what's in the drawing and makes zooming and panning way faster, especially when large pattern fill planes are involved. In V8, the newly designed Plane Options dialog not only fits better on modern wide aspect screens, but it also has a better layout and adds extra functionality as we will see. A smart preview of planes ensures there are no more nasty surprises when you pick the wrong scale values. The new preview shows you exactly what you're going to get or it warns you of inappropriate scale that would otherwise cause your computer to run out of memory and potentially crash. The preview switches off completely if it will take too long to display preventing previously annoying long wait times or the running out of computer memory from happening. The desired size of a single bitmap tile, the scale of a pattern tile or hatch spacing size can now be set and are visually confirmed with a small preview and dimension, whilst the overall appearance of multiple tiles at the current scale is previewed below. The width and height of a bitmap plane can be linked or unlinked as you adjust either value to maintain their aspect ratio. The preview of planes can be shown on three different backgrounds to let you see how effective your levels of transparency will be before you insert them. Yet another time saver. Transparency can now be set by percentage value and a new slide control simply makes it easier and more intuitive to adjust. An eyedropper or colour picker lets you set what colour is to be transparent when using a bitmap plane by just picking on the desired colour of the bitmap image. This is kind of like having paint tools in your CAD program. The anchor tool, which has been in the software for a while, is now applicable to bitmap planes. And it allows you to be more creative with your bitmap fills than ever before. Landscape users, for instance, can make plant symbols that look just like hand-painted ones by inserting scanned images as a bitmap plane inside their CAD line symbols and line up the origin of the image so that it fits neatly within the symbol. Totally unique to RealCAD and its applications is an amazing new method of inserting planes that will improve your workflow immeasurably, especially when planes are complex. You no longer require the bounding entities of the plane to be divided and joined end to end. Boundary entities can overlap or even have gaps. The user simply selects the boundary entities at the position they want to include and the software does the rest.
the Text Options dialog has been enhanced to allow for immediate editing of text, and a better preview of how the text will appear when inserted in your drawing. The same enhanced dialog is also available for dimensions. Ever wish you could get paragraphs of text to wrap to the next line in the right place without too much trial and error? Well now you can. This new process lets you resize the boundary and have the text automatically flow to stay within it. Now here's one almost every user is going to love. We've introduced zoom zones into layouts to instantly place the part of the drawing you want to see without scrolling around or zooming in and out of the viewport endlessly. Just pick the view and the zone and it will appear right inside your viewport. The Plot Scale has a new drop-down option that predefines the calculated scales included in Imperial and Metric standards, so there's no need for any calculations. Your desired scales are just a mouse click away. United States users will love this feature in particular. Ever find that your PDF file was just too large to send to a client, or of too low a quality to put to your name? Now you can adjust the resolution of PDF files to adjust the quality and file size. The option to use our PDF Exchange Pro add-on is also still available for Windows users. PDF Exchange is particularly good at keeping files compact even if your drawing contains images or large areas of bitmap fills. A new print option lets you automatically convert white lines to black when printed. This is particularly good for drawings that use white lines on a dark background whilst modelling. The new Keep Preview Open option returns you to the Print Preview window after you've pressed Print. Now this allows you to print again without needing to return back to the drawing environment first. Yet another small but time-saving feature. After selecting a printer, that printer remains as the default printer if the Use Last Printer checkbox is checked. Deleting groups has been completely revised in version 8 so that when you delete or cut a group entity from your drawing, not only does the group entity itself get deleted, but so too do all the entities within it. And if you want to delete only the group entity and leave the original entities behind, you can still use the ungroup command. You can also specify the exact size of components in real-world measurements with no need to calculate scale. Want a table setting that's 220mm by 1500mm? Easy, just type it in. If you are used to using some other CAD systems, you'll really appreciate our new line insertion method. Simply press the forward slash key, type the desired length, and click your cursor in the direction that you desire. If the mouse click is in free space, the line locks to the nearest preset angle, but if you snap to a point, then the angle is precisely towards that point, but the line is still limited to the length that you typed in. In many cases, this method of fast and precise position input may negate the need for you to use any other method. An enhanced polyfence selection option used to select entities that are in a random polygon shape now shows a fully closed loop as you click your way around, making it much easier to see the fenced area as you go.
Here's a huge time saver. The enhanced Find and Replace tool now gives you the ability to find almost anything in your drawing, with an option to replace and even zoom in to any entities that you find. Change your design really fast by swapping one component, or a group, or a hatch pattern, or even a material with another. Repair files with missing elements where you've inadvertently renamed or moved a file or a folder containing the missing parts. Find and Replace also allows you to edit text globally and cross your entire drawing, saving an enormous amount of time. I think this is really cool. When you click on your drawing and it selects something other than what you intended, rather than try again, just press the Tab key and it will find the next nearest entity to where you clicked. What a time saver that is. Need to move things around your drawing in increments? The new nudge function lets you do just that using the keyboard arrow keys or the page up, page down keys to move your selection by the distance set within your grid settings, even if your grid is switched off. It won't only move entities, but if you hold the Alt key down at the same time, your selection will be stretched to the new location, maintaining its endpoint connections with other entities. Here's a dandy new tool that landscape users in particular will embrace, the new randomize function. This tool alters the rotation, size and position of the selected entities so that they can be moved, scaled and rotated uniformly or randomly in a single command. Many input menus can now accept negative values as well as positive ones, letting you draw or trim things in a reverse direction if desired. A negative value on a trim option will make it longer. A negative value on inserting a rectangle will draw it from a different origin, for instance. Because of its importance to many users, we spent a lot of time on DWG file import enhancements. DWG file type limitations and the diversity of so many different programs that use DWG backwards and forwards make DWG files a real challenge for any system. V8 is well ahead of previous versions and almost every other software package on the market. The Windows version has the option to add a special third-party plugin at a small extra cost to pre-process and clean your DWG files before they're imported. This process is very similar to what our support team do when they convert your DWG files for you. An updated SketchUp 3D Warehouse browser lets you search the latest warehouse and download the models you wish to import whilst you're still inside RealCAD. This is great for anyone modelling scenes in 3D and will dramatically save time by not having to build your own 3D content. The latest online certificate training course, developed for educators and private users, has been converted to work with V8 already, so you won't have to wait in order to start using the new version in your school, college or business. As you can see, V8 is the culmination of a great deal of thought and effort to bring you a more efficient CAD program that will help you design better, faster and funner. So don't hold back. Get your upgrade to V8 today.